Mastering Contract Drafting Essential Techniques for Legal Agreements Key Considerations for Contract Structure and Organization Welcome to the chapter that will guide you through the art of structuring and organizing contracts for maximum readability and comprehension. In this chapter, we will explore key considerations that will help you create well-structured contracts with a logical flow. From utilizing headings and subheadings to incorporating defined terms and cross-referencing provisions, we will cover it all. So, let's dive in and discover the secrets to effective contract structure and organization. Organizing the contract for readability and comprehension. One of the fundamental goals of contract drafting is to ensure that the contract is easily readable and comprehensible for all parties involved. To achieve this, it is important to organize the contract in a clear and logical manner. Begin with an introductory section that provides an overview of the agreement, followed by distinct sections or clauses that address specific aspects of the contract. Consider using paragraphs for individual provisions to enhance readability and create visual separation. Logical Flow and Sequencing of Clauses Maintaining a logical flow and sequencing of clauses is vital for the overall coherence and understanding of the contract. Arrange the clauses in a logical order, starting with essential provisions such as the definitions, followed by the main obligations, rights, and responsibilities of the parties. Consider the natural progression of the contractual relationship and ensure that the sequencing of clauses reflects this progression. A well-structured contract enhances readability and helps the parties grasp the contractual intent more easily. Utilizing headings, subheadings, and numbering systems. Headings, subheadings, and numbering systems play a crucial role in guiding readers through the contract and aiding in comprehension. Utilize descriptive headings for each section or clause to provide an overview of its content. Subheadings can be used within sections to further divide and organize the content. Consider using a numbering system to indicate the hierarchy of provisions, making it easier for readers to navigate through the contract. Bold and distinguish these headings and subheadings to draw attention to them and provide visual cues. Incorporating defined terms and cross-referencing provisions To improve clarity and readability, it is helpful to incorporate defined terms and utilize cross-referencing within the contract. Define key terms at the beginning of the contract or in a separate definition section. Once a term is defined, use it consistently throughout the contract, replacing repetitive language with the defined term. This promotes consistency and avoids confusion. Additionally, cross-reference related provisions within the contract by using clear references or hyperlinks. Cross-referencing allows parties to easily navigate between clauses and ensures that the contract is read as a cohesive whole. By carefully considering the structure and organization of your contracts, you can create documents that are easy to read, understand, and navigate. A well-structured contract promotes clarity, reduces the chances of misinterpretation, and enhances the overall user experience. In this chapter, we have explored key considerations for contract structure and organization, including organizing the contract for readability and comprehension, ensuring a logical flow and sequencing of clauses, utilizing headings, subheadings, and numbering systems, and incorporating defined terms and cross-referencing provisions. By implementing these considerations, you will create contracts that are clear, organized, and accessible to all parties involved. <laughs>